Welcome everyone. Welcome to our first webinar of 2019. My name is Esratat. I'm the Network and Development Coordinator at Zero West Europe and I uh, lead on our Zero West Cities program. So um, today to kickstart this, this year and this uh, new series of webinar um, for 2019, we'll be digging into the question of e-waste. Uh, our core question for today is going to be how to extend the electronic devices lifespan and reduce e-waste at the city level, uh, learning from the experience of the City Council of Barcelona. So to dig into this, this question um, and better understand how we can radically reduce electronic waste at the city level um, and how we can actually set up a system um, that gives a new life uh, to use electronic goods, uh, we are lucky to have three uh, speakers with us who will help us navigate in this question. Um, so as usual, we have a 10 minute presentation, 10, 15 minutes presentation, then a few qualification questions, and then we'll end up with more um, time um, to, to discuss about it. So feel free to use the Q&A uh, section of um, this webinar. Um, and we will start right now with um, David Franquesa. So David, he's the CEO of uh, devicetag.io and he's the director of reuse. Uh, David has a background as an informa information and technology engineer. And um, the title of his thesis was Social and Circular Reuse of Digital Devices. Uh, right after David, we'll have the chance to have Esther Vidal, uh, who is the director of the Cooperative Social and Solidarity Economy Services at the City Council of Barcelona. And we'll finish our presentation with um, Mireia Rura, who is a project manager at Donalo, and who will help us understand a bit more what it means uh, to refurbish um, electronic devices and how it works. So without further delay, I leave the floor to David to help us understand what is e-reuse and how it works. Thank you. So um, the question is which barriers we have and how these uh, reuse platforms could help to uh, break it. You know? And we need methodology, we need tools, we need culture. So uh, that is what we are doing in the electronic reuse community. Try to help each other and try to share best practices. And, and that's it, uh, what we are going to, to show you today. You know? uh, so I have a few agenda for you. Um, let me just, yeah. Um, first, uh, explain the, the e reuse.org open source community uh, and this uh, zero waste uh, Europe case study. And we will introduce on the first slides uh, after explaining the problem we have, uh, we have figures updated about the problem with a, a recent report done by U United Nations E-Waste uh, Coalition, so it could be interest of for the audience. Um, which are the barriers and challenge we, we need to overcome? And so uh, how we can increase the, the electronic. And, and then, uh, let me, yeah, perhaps better. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mireya. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me, yeah. And, and yeah, and yeah, and finally, uh, one of the electronic reuse platforms. So, um, uh, what is a new reuse platform, an electronic reuse platform? Which actors participate? Today, we have some of them uh, for you. And why, why do they collaborate? And, 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 and what learnings uh, we are getting you know, from all this collaboration you know, in, in a social network of reuse and what, what uh, it's that. You know? uh, and finally, some remarks and conclusions. Um, so uh, electronic reuse mission is to, to promote society to avoid the premature recycling of electronics. You know? uh, what, when, I, when I say premature recycling, uh, I mean as a destroy a product that it has a value itself. And it remains and has a value or there is a potential demand of use for that product. So uh, that's uh, our members are local groups, businesses and organizations uh, with the goal to extend uh, the lifetime of 
the lifetime of products through uh, repair, refurbish, and reuse. You know. And uh, all of uh, we collaborate um, to um, share open source resources to increase uh, and to optimize the process of uh, reuse. That's the refurbishment process. Uh, makes it transparent and and track uh, any that any asset that has been refurbished that has been re reused finally ends up properly recycling. This is one of the the, the main um, challenge uh, we have as a reuse community. So ensure that uh, reuse it's always creates positive impact because you get finally the recycling otherwise. So. Um, just go with some figures uh, about um, about why we should uh, reuse. It's um, um, the, the, um, almost today there are about 50 uh, expected in 2020 expected uh, 50 billions of devices. Uh, we are using uh, non-renewable resources. Uh, I think too much fast or in an inefficient way because uh, the lifespan of mobiles, desktops, it's really short. And also most of these uh, raw materials come from um, uh, um, countries with uh, really poor countries uh, that creates problems, uh, wars with these uh, raw materials extractions. Um, there are uh, some reports about uh, the employment. Um, most of uh, these electronics are produced under um, uh, conditions, uh, employment conditions uh, that goes to the slavery in some cases, and there is a, a link on between employment conditions and suicides. Um, most of the CO2 uh, comes from production of the of the electronics. So uh, once the electronic has been produced, uh, we need to, to go to extend the lifespan. And today only 20% of electronics are properly recycled. Uh, so 80% um, uh, goes to outback reused and recycled circuits. We have to bring transparency uh, to these um, outbacks and closed circuits. And, and the exposure of is non properly recycling uh, impacts on 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 health on blood and so um, finally uh, re reuse also has benefits because um, increase the demand of uh, of second hand uh, products but that reduce uh, prices and makes it more affordable so it's more inclusive and also that creates jobs and most of them local because um, the offer uh, and the uh, businesses that can refurbish it's usually it's local and the demand also and this is one of the challenge also it's local but uh, we have to work in that aspect you know work in that culture of creating that demand you know? and just some ideas of uh, what is a waste electronic waste and we are mostly focused, when I say we, it's a reuse community, mostly focused on printers, laptops, mobile phones, and, and desktops. And that it's um, uh, small IT and screens, so about 20% of the total e-waste, uh, worldwide e-waste. And this is increasing, um, and, and it's, it's expected that double um, in 2050 uh, to 120 million of tons. So uh, we, we, have, we need to, to find these this, uh, this solutions. And only 20% um, it's properly recycled and 80 it's not collected for recycling and 76% it's not properly documented. This is something we need to, to, to put tra transparent. Recycling is the is a scenario that um, it's not um, uh, it's not resolving the problem because 
uh, even if we recycle the 100% of what we produce, our CO2 footprint, footprint is reduced by 1.6% only. Clearly, we will not reach the 40% reduction target by 2030. I think this figure of uh, uh, Ellen MacArthur Foundation, it's, um, it's quite good because it explains the, the, the several loops we can, we can go. Uh, uh, the first is the share. So uh, we have the computer in, um, in the center, in a user, and how to extend the lifespan through uh, actions like repair, you know, even training to the users to, um, to, to learn how to repair the own electronics. It's, this is, would be the first. Um, the second is, um, okay, um, uh, the user do not want uh, anymore the device. And um, okay, uh, just that user has to, to try to find uh, a local way where get rid of. So uh, it, if you want to change your device, okay, it's not a problem. But just try to, to find uh, uh, perhaps a colleague, uh, perhaps you can resell, etc. Not try that this device is reduced, and that's that is the reuse concept. It's find another user that wants it. Uh, sometimes this device is properly functioning, so you just need to delete delete the, the data, install a new operating system, and that is all you have to do for reuse. And other moments, uh, other types of devices, you need to do a more upgrade, increase the memory, change the hard drive, and put a more um, fastener uh, hard drive, etc. No, And that is the refurbishment process. And finally, after all this process, um, uh, you have to ensure that goes to a recycling but when, I, when we say recycling, there are different types of recycling. So recovery raw materials should be the, the first one. Try and the, what, that's what circular economy message knows. Uh, at the end, when there is not more value, uh, more demand for a product, then try to recover. So there are some chain challenges for, for moving forward this uh, reuse no and the first is reuse ensuring recycling and and try to 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 do this uh, these loops no when a computer enters to to the the first usage and and then uh, track track and and try to 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 do this infinite I'm not sure if you can see my my pointer of the mouse yes you can see it we, we can see the pointer you can see okay so uh just speak about the, the, the challenges um one it's uh, increase the um, the trust on second-hand uh consumers uh give a quality of uh of a device you know how to how to ensure that buying a second-hand uh device uh, it means that you are buying quality. It means that um, you are buying something it's usable for you. No? So, uh, and there are many mm, actions we can do for that. So, put transparent the, the use value, the condition. Uh, even if the if you buy in e-commerce or you buy um, in in a front um, front store. No? And the second, it's uh, traceability. Um, you need to certify all, all the stakeholders that participate in in the in the chain in the reverse supply chain. In that case, is the uh, ones uh, the first usage. Uh, the reverse supply chain it's the several reuse loops that you can have. Uh, all the refurbishers that participate, and finally the recyclers. Um, the third point is optimize. So. Uh, Reuse has to be refurbishment process or reselling process has to be economically profitable. So you need to develop all, all this economy. So you need to develop all these tools. That, you know? and, and fourth, it's the circular auditability. And what, that, what does it mean? So ensure 
uh, non-premature recycling. So when you, when a product goes to the recycle stream, uh, ensure that this product has no value, has no potential demand of reuse for that. You know? And that is, uh, that is an example. Um, last year we, we were in a European project and we um, uh, improved the e-reuse technology um, to allow this, this kind of use cases. So uh, we have devices that has a smart tag, uh, you have an app and, and you can uh, read uh, the characteristics of this device. So the condition, the, the, retail, the retail price, the value of use, this is transparent for the user. And this information, it's in the cloud. It's in the cloud of the reseller uh, or, or the refurbisher because this is open source technology. So any um, business has the own cloud with this information. And that information, it's certified, has been uh, produced with the tools that do not, not allow manual modifications. So if um, the test of the product has passed, has passed. And that creates trust between buyers and sellers. The other one, it's the chain of custody, and specifically for donors. Uh, and suppliers like the City Council of Barcelona that participates in that project. Um, and the City Council uh, wants uh, an alternative to recycling and wants to know what's happened uh, with uh, the, the equipment that donate. So uh, who are the businesses that repair and refurbish? Who are the retailers? And finally, who are the, the reusers? And, and no, sorry, and finally, who are the recyclers? So uh, know all the chain of custody. And this is an example just to, you can put here the number of the uh, equipment uh, you donate, and, and then you know where it is and if it's reused or not, etc. cetera. You know? um, this is a, an example of a tool that could be mm, mm, used in that. Okay, go to the, city reuse uh, platforms. Um, these are the, the, the actors that, that participate in, in, um, in a reuse um, platform. Um, first off is the supplier or donor, like the City Council of Barcelona, uh, that uh, provision re reusable products uh, to a platform. Uh, these computers, um, there is a distributor, and the distributor is a, usually a, a zero waste organization or a retailer itself that um, gets um, gets. Uh, I suggest explain how it works. No, gets an email with a list of assets that uh, the donor wants to donate, and and then the distributor do not touch physically the devices, just find a refurbisher. Uh, interested in going and collect right, all these devices from the, the donors' facilities. And the refurbisher does the, the process of upgrade, repair, and make all the, the inventory. That is something that will be um, explained better by, by Mireya, okay? And after that, uh, all these uh, devices are shared with the retailers, um, and the retailers are who uh, go uh, to, to the demand, you know? find the demand, uh, make an agreement with uh, the, the reuser, the, you know, the user is going to reuse, and ensure traceability and, until final recycling. That uh, until goes to a recycler. You know? okay? That more or less are the, 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 the roles that a platform has. And, um, just explain a bit um, that it's the case of Barcelona and uh, there is the, the donor, the city council defines a restrictions that it's what we call the donor's restrictions, the donor's license. It's a license over a product and all the, the agents in the reverse supply chain needs to respect. Um, uh, for example, the city council could define um, these uh, computers 
uh, must be uh, treat, uh, treated, uh, processed by uh, not for profit businesses. So um, the distributor needs uh, to ensure that. And, and this is the, the role of a zero waste organization that needs to ensure uh, that for this donor, you need uh, to only not for profit businesses can participate. This is an example. No? And this donor's restrictions uh, uh, are, uh, has another license that uh, there is a generic license that we call the uh, circularity license. That are the, the main restrictions. So, for example, um, any uh, equipment that enter to a circuit needs to be tracked, right? uh, needs to be finally recycled. Um, you need to uh, try to mm, not do premature recycling, etc. No, and and after that, the distributor finds a refurbisher uh, that goes and collects the computers and. This is shared by retailers, etc. And, and, and all these rules also must be defined no? to um, increase collaboration, trust between all agents. There is a circuit agreement. There is a, a license that uh, it's defined by all the participants. Um, for example, if, um, if a retailer uh, uh, do not know what happens with the equipment, because um, the retailer has lost, then that implies that that retailer reduced the quota of equipment that can process. It's just an example. Any platform defines the own rules, just uh, needs to be adapted to, to the context, to the local context, no? And, and okay, uh, why, why collaborate in a platform? What, uh, what new uh, um, uh, reuse uh, approach? What uh, new things you know, uh, appears here? Um, when it's um, scale uh, in diversity and quantity of products. So um, um, today there are several recyclers, there are several refurbishers, there are several retailers. Any refurbisher uh, works with different types of equipment. One is uh, uh, just work in printers, other with mobile phones, etc. cetera. Um, that allows uh, to increase volume of uh, equipment. Um, in the past, uh, any of these refurbishers could process more than uh, 300, 400 devices per month. Now, there are, um, uh, 20 uh, businesses operating here, so you can scale easily. You know? um, the other is product uh, and waste. Uh, in the past, uh, the usual is that um, the, the businesses go and collect only products because they are not allowed to trade with waste, and, or they take all of them. And that was a problem because uh, after that, the, the businesses has to to move all of it to the to the recycle stream. So uh, you have now recyclers and 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 waste managers and non-waste managers uh, collaborating. So that is an aspect improved. Uh, you have better balance between supply and demand. Uh, this is a problem in 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 this case. Um, and then. Uh, you need that when you have an excess of equipment, you can share it with a retailer you know, that can has an excess of demand, etc. You know? Sharing these uh, inventories, um, it, it's um, providing um, good experience. And a single point uh, for suppliers. Uh, in the past, the supplier, uh, the city council, just had an, an agreement with one entity. And perhaps this entity just uh, um, uh, works with the schools you know? and if uh, wants to maximize and diversify the social impact then has to create a new agreement with another entity and and that is uh, the, the new approach it's just one distributor 
with just one agreement with the city council, and this distributor has a, a, a non-exclusive uh, platform. So any mm, entity that follow the rules defined by the circuit can get a quota of the city council of Barcelona. And perhaps some of them work in uh, Raval, in one a neighborhood. Uh, the other uh, works for um, um, a different kind of impact. You know? So that makes it easy to, to diversify. Um, other are shared costs. Uh, all of them use same technology. All of them improve the same technology, use the same methodology. And, um, and for the city council, um, it's uh, it's always the same the same uh, partner that uh, speaks with because all of them uh, use the same process you no know, of collection etc of reporting etc no? and uh, finally it's uh, also a, a common pool resource approach uh, because uh, all the platform needs to take care of the suppliers because uh, if a device is lost all the platform uh, um, has a problem, no? so all of them need to, to properly manage these assets. And and if a, if a device is recycled uh, um, before the time to do it, also it's a, a loss of the whole platform. Um, some figures we we get uh, to today um, around uh, 900 uh, registered device. Um, most of them are still in, in usage. That it's creating a computation value that uh, is um, uh, computation uh, com uh, equipment running. Um, we have um, recycled about 3,000 and 50 local businesses participating in, in this network. Uh, th these are a forecast about half million of uh, uh, euros per year um, based on maintenance uh, uh, um, business model. Uh, that it's, uh, what we see, it's uh, uh, buying second hand has some barriers and one is it's going to, to work, not, uh, etc. cetera. So uh, they, they pay a fee, month, a monthly fee and, and that creates more value or because uh, maintenance business are today entering the circuit. So there are different, a uh, new actor, you could say a new actor, no? Uh, about 60 million hours per year of computation uh, that in otherwise uh, uh, will be, you need to produce creating new devices. No? That is hours coming from re reuse of devices. And sorry, and just uh, conclusions and remarks. Um, circular economy uh, try to keep products as products uh, as much as possible. Um, and communities um, could be measured for the units of value that throws away prematurely. You know? uh, just if you go to a recycling uh, center and, and see products that still has a value. That explains a lot about the, the culture or, or society that are doing that. No? Um, a reuse platform, it's collaboration, uh, first of all. Uh, traceability, ensure any reuse uh, device ends recycle. And uh, we have certified refurbishment, uh, ensure this quality. No? And we use smart tags and concept of license Licenses, uh, licenses apply over products. This is something I think mm -hmm. new, no? And the distributor uh, is a is a zero waste organization that could, can be more than one distributors. That is what we have in Barcelona. That makes um, this uh, system uh, more scalable, scalable, and uh, also in the case of zero waste organization, the excellence because. Uh, what the zero waste wants, it's circular economy, it's ensure you know, um, uh, circular performance, and, and this is what they do. Uh, e-reuse.org is not a startup, 
is uh, there is a free membership so just connect share uh it's open source and and the irreduce platforms are instantiated locally by independent organizations you do not need any permission from every use to create your own local network just it's the concept of open source circular economy just download the code and do it uh, anyway we are uh, want to to create a platform uh, if you want to create a platform in your city uh, we uh, will happily uh, uh, help you to do that okay and do you have some references of uh, the figures uh, uh, we have present? And, and, and thank you, thank you for all. Thank you very much, David. Um, I think you can stop sharing your, your presentation. Um, thank you for, for taking us, like giving us this overview and, and reminding us today that actually only 20% of um, electronic waste is, is collected. And it's very, it's even more scary to hear that 76% of it is just not documented. Um, so the point of traceability in, in the EURIS platform is, is very central. Um, there are a few questions, clarification questions, and I will share them now. And I will keep the others for the final conversation. Um, there is a, uh, Ismail who's asking to make this possible the, the work of the platform is it necessary to count on big donors and how do you handle to have if you have individual donors how do you deal with with transport mm -hmm. yeah um, regarding um, having big donors makes really easy uh, the, the process of a start and, and not only big donors um, also, that's the case of City Council of uh, Barcelona. Um, uh, the last the last year, uh, the circuit, the platform gets about uh, 100, uh, 100 uh, no, one thousand devices, more or less. That's um, and it's about ten collections. So you can manage easily and reduce the cost. And besides. Uh, small collections um, it's it's a it's a problem uh, going just for few devices and you usually uh, uh, there, there is no entities in the circuit willing to to, to go for that um, but um, so finally when uh, 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 a mail is received with uh, with a demand for collect uh, this is shared with uh, with the uh, the members and if if no interest are in going so it is cut so yeah it's okay thank you um and also take a second clarification question precisely on the platform um so gustavo is asking what is the highest risk this initiative has experienced the biggest risk that you yeah challenge that you have experienced mm -hmm. um the, the highest risk. What uh, I can explain learnings. Uh, uh, the members on Barcelona um, has has got uh, one. It's starting trying to reuse everything. So, um, and even trying to reduce um, uh, products uh, without the demand ready for to that. So you you need to balance the the demand. The demand is the first aspect. That you need to cover, and, and if you increase the demand, you can in increase the devices can go to the reuse stream, um, and and that it's uh, we had a delay on that. No, so some some members um, um, had a warehouse fully of computers during three four months, and that's and because the demand was not ready or not expected at, at goes. Uh, as fast as expected. So, um, try to try to connect with um, uh, partners uh, that um, work on on half e-commerce. Uh, try, try to 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 find the, the demand uh, because that's the only way to to increase and scale. No, really, and that's perhaps the one of the, the risks. Try to 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 take everything on the reduced stream. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm keeping there are some very interesting questions about planned obsolescence and and the, the, the fair working conditions, but I'm keeping that for, for later. Uh, so thank you very much, David. And um, it's, um, it's time for us to move to our second panelist, to um, Esther Vidal, who is sitting just next to you. Um, so Esther is the director of the Cooperative Social and Solidarity Economy Services at the Barcelona City Council. She has a massive experience in economic management, organization, and strategy, precisely in the social economy and solidarity companies. Um, so, Esther, you will be sharing with us a bit more of the Barcelona experience, um, as we are very much interested at Zeris Europe uh, to understand how all this can be implemented at the city level. So, Esther, I'll, I'll let you guide us into the political steps of the experience of Barcelona, and uh, we'll keep again some time for, for questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Erra, and uh, good afternoon to everybody, and thank you to participate too. Um, David has explained how how does it works the the platform and the project, and I will try to explain you the the political and management point of view uh, inside of the city council. Uh, uh, working on this project. Uh, so Barcelona is a quite uh, big city and uh, it has a, a quite big city council, no? So um, where there are more than 10,000 workers, so a lot of computers and printers and uh, other electronics. We, um, we start for the computers and we would like to to extend to other electronics in the future. Um, before to, to go to the question, uh, just um, explain a little bit the, the context, no? the, the actual government in the Barcelona and what, uh, which um, political um, uh, makes the, the the, the the team to to promote this project. Uh, the actual government uh, of the city makes uh, some new politics uh, in social and solidarity economy. So this is a, a first mark, no? the first context that we work with the platform and uh, with the responsible consumption. Uh, consumption. Uh, the political um, for sustainability, they were developed more than before, but this uh, social economy and responsible consumption was so new, like um, political, concrete politicals. So the question was, uh, what uh, political steps we can do in Barcelona City Council uh, to, to launch a reuse circuit that promotes uh, the responsible consumption the electronic, uh, of the electronic devices, but uh, the creation of new green jobs too in the local economy and social economy, and the reduction of waste and shortening of the digital divide. And, um, before this question, uh, the first experience was made by Barcelona Activa. Barcelona Activa is uh, the Economic Development Agency of Barcelona City Council. Uh, it was created th 30 years ago and its mission uh, is to promote the economic policy and local development. Uh, to promote the improvement of the quality of life of the citizens in the in the city. Uh, Barcelona Activa promotes the employment, the promotion of entrepreneurship, the, um, to support the companies in the city, etc. And now in these uh, last years, it was a new team uh, in Barcelona Activa, um, working for the for develop the social economy and and to um, 
include the, the responsible consumption of point of view no, in, the, in his services. So uh, in 216, uh, Barcelona Activa signed a, a device transfer convention uh, was carried before Barcelona Activa and the, the, the error use uh, platform. Uh, in the role was to transfer the, the computers, no? the, the challenge was to transfer the computers that Barcelona Activa doesn't use uh, and um, give to a reuse to, um, to, to manage the, the network of suppliers and this redistributed, redistributed the materials equitability. And, and the, the most important is that we will never can do it inside of the city council with our um, own workers because uh, it's a new project, it's, uh, it, it hasn't not been before and the the existence of the network was very important. After the, the, the agreement with Barcelona Activa, uh, that uh, is, uh, Barcelona Activa has more or less uh, 400 workers, so it's a big um, public enterprise, but uh, the city council is bigger, no? And uh, after the, the first agreement between Barcelona Activa and Irreuse, we proposed to the City Council to make a new agreement uh, to, to reproduce the, the system no, of, the, of the give the, the electronic device to, to reuse. Uh, that, um, just for explain the, the political decision and the politicals uh, that makes the, the, the actual team to, to work with the, the agreements and, and the, develop the, the system with the reuse. Uh, in the um, operational team or organization no, uh, the, the, the project uh, we we start uh, from the social economy team but we have to uh, implicate, implicate to engage the other departments in the city council and the first one the that's called the Institut Municipal of the Informatica, no, the, the computer, that is the, pro, the proprietor of the computers in the, in the city council. Um, the purpose of the assignment, there are different purposes and different social benefits that David uh, has explained some of them, no? But uh, uh, the, um, for us, it was important that the engage of the, um, the city council was an, an example, no? For the rest of the actors in the city. So with that, and to explain that we are working with uh, reusing that project, uh, we hope it encourages the culture of reuse in the in the city, and we hope that other enterprises will will engage too in in similar uh, projects. Uh, we are working too for for explain for extend the circular economy, not only in this in this case, but it was a very important. Uh, sector no, for work on it. Um, another important thing is we encourage the digital inclusion. So we have 
not uh, the same opportunities uh, in all of the city. It depends on the on the districts. It depends on the different things. So we are trying to do some projects to to work the digital inclusion, and it was. Uh, the agreement with the reuse it was an opportunity in that in that case because uh, now we are working with the um, social uh, rights department no uh, for uh, identify identify families with young people who are studying in the school or university and uh, that we know uh, that they they don't have a computer at home so we are working with them to make the matching no the the the, the opportunity of reuse and and we are studying with the social services how we can um, uh, organize a, a system no to to facilitate and to to increase the, the accessibility to the electronics and to the the digitals in this these families, for example, no. Uh, we say to promote resources open and free, and uh, no. David explains that uh, the platform use open source, etc. Uh, we encourage responsible consumption, so uh, we we have the responsibility to uh, to to make you know, the more longest the the, the uh, electronics uh, life, and uh, it was important too that the the platform. Uh, is a create a local social and solidarity economy and uh, and and work, no? And, and I jobs a travel jobs in 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 this in this uh, in this sector hmm? because the like David explained a lot of the actors in the platform are uh, social and solidarity economy initiatives and enterprises who works with some uh, uh, persons in, in, situ in vulnerability situation and it is important to, to because the, the project creates opportunities in this in this sense. Hmm? Uh, so it was important the, colla the collaboration inside the the, the city council, but uh, it was very very important to have a network like a reuse that uh, is uh, already organized that was mm, so representative of the sector. A lot of actors who can do it was in the platform it was an, an open network so uh, we are not working with a, um, only an actor and we, we have to 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 with the public um, uh, um, I contact the public the um, public Provising, no. Uh, so it was important that is a, a open uh, network and it extends and it, it makes uh, or uh, facilitates the the participation of different of different actors. And it's for that that we can make a, a agreement uh, direct, no, directly with them because of the characteristics of the network and uh, it's an agreement that um, does not uh, in, uh, we, we pay not anything to the platform just an agreement to organize uh, uh, the system 
to reuse the, the computers and others. Um, we, I think we has uh, still no, in the, in the um, learnings uh, <laughs> uh, no, in the this uh, we have uh, some months in the system but we are uh, uh, learning a lot of things for example that not all the processors uh, are um, um, are possi is possible to re reuse in in, in the in the um, in the system, no. So we have to to look what are we what we can make with with them. And for example, we have to. Uh, it's not possible to reuse our network material uh, using free software. So there are uh, questions that we have now in the uh, in the table, and that we have to continue to work to platform uh, in order to 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 develop the system and to. To make it better, no. And just uh, for explain the city council vision. And um, thank you very much. And see if you have some questions, we can continue with the debate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Esther. There is actually a, a question that links very much to one of your slides when you mentioned the social benefits uh, for the city of Barcelona, mm -hmm. with this idea of to create uh, you know, more jobs and in the frame of the social economy. And actually someone was asking, how do you ensure this fair employment conditions in a circular supply chain? So is it just this type of organizations that work on the reuse or you are also putting this as a condition? Mm. Y vosaltres no tenéis como condición. Sí, 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 sí. Economía social, sí, ¿no? Sí. Yes. Eh, eh, there are two things. Eh, the first one, the rule, no, the rules or normas, no. The, sí, the, the rules that eh, RUs has with these actors. And RUs, eh, when they comes to the city council to explain how they uh, works, uh, they explain and uh, the platform as in, in his rules um, has uh, decided that work only with uh, social economy actors. So the platform is a guarantee in that, in that sense. And we were, we know, no. Uh, David talks about the, the transparency, so we know, we know the agents and the actors. Uh, we know the um, the travel that makes the computer. So, and this is a yes, this is a, a condition because all the all these uh, actors don't have. Um, and in the lucre, que es, uh, are, not are not from from profit. And the other things that the, the other thing is important. I didn't say, but David said before, the um, who can receive these uh, these computers. And the first one, uh, I told the example of the families that can need, but uh, the other big uh, universe is the uh, social economy enterprises and associations in the in the city that uh, can can buy no the the computers if there is no more demand inside in the social economy inside in the social services we are talking what to do it and how to 
offers to others, no? Uh, for example, all the education system that uh, um, there is another sector that we will work with. with it. Yeah, thank you. There's a, another question linked to um, the commitments of the, the City Council. Uh, someone is asking, does the City Council also purchase secondhand electronics or do you, you know, only give electronics to the platform? So what is your procurement policy? Uh, just uh, to now, uh, we, I, th um, I think uh, that we don't buy, um, uh, we just uh, reuse our computers, but we, the, the, um, the political of procurement, um, we are working on it, but for the moment, it just is not very <laughs> different from some years ago in this uh, sector. We, for the political of responsible consumption, we have uh, uh, working with some areas of the city council, but it's it's difficult, really. It's not it's not easy, and and the big agreements, big uh, with big enterprises. Uh, are difficult to, to change. It's true. Yes. Yeah. A I challenge think, of the future. <laughs> yes. I think it connects well with the question of Dolores. Uh, she was saying in the circular economy, cultural issues um, play an important role. How you suggest the, you know, to, to this to be managed. But I also understand cultural issues even within organizations, the culture of buying something new. Um, so I think it's, you just said that it's a long time Yes. Process. Yes. To change. It's not um, one four years, but maybe eight or twelve or the, the a long travel. Yes. Yeah. Um, a very last question about the, the how the the concept worked before we can move to to our last presentation. So Sasha is asking how this concept refinance itself. Um, how much was the financial manpower input to get it started? Um, is the project co-financed on the state or EU level? Um, how the, yeah, the financial part of this work? Uh, David will, will help me, but uh, the, thing, the important thing is that the, um, the city council don't finance the platform, just uh, give the, the device and and collaborate to develop the system, but no, don't finance the. And uh, she, he will complete, but uh, the last um, users or the people and enterprise who will buy the computers have to pay it. Just uh, the. Um, they pay just the cost of uh, making uh, to recycle and to, to to make the the computer for being used, no? And this is the cost is the the work that the social economy enterprises that participate in the process. No, they uh, hours and materials that use, but not more. Only that, and this is the cost uh, and the price of the of the computers. And maybe David can uh, add if there are other um, financial resources mm -hmm. um, for um, developing the resources, like uh, the, the, the open source um, code, uh, the platform, etc. That. Uh, Everything are uh, EU grants, and uh, also um, we get a, a grant from for the city from the city council for by, for develop the platform. Uh, Before, yeah, and regarding uh, sustain all the process, um, the reuse process, that it's uh, um, um, this is out of finance, so it's uh, 
the second hand uh, owner, the buyer, pays uh, for the cost of um, uh, management, uh, logistics, transport, warehouse, uh, um, cleaning computers, data wiping, all, all uh, retail, uh, remarket, uh, all this process of reuse process uh, has uh, an amount no? uh, uh, based on um, on the experience we we get and and and, and all these costs are are um, shared by the members so um, if a member enters to the platform it's obvious that um, uh, perhaps it's uh, it's not ready no to to work uh, um, operative and productive with that cost but after a month of uh, working uh, they can they go to be more productive and they can cover this course at these margins. No? Mm -hmm. Thank you, David, and thank you, uh, um, Esther. We're moving to our last panelist. We're running a bit late today, but um, it's, it's, it's worth digging into the process. So um, our last panelist is uh, Mireya Rura, who's a project manager at uh, Donalo. So Mireya has an experience as a refurbisher and as a retailer, um, having worked directly um, on refurbishing computers and reselling them on donalo.org. Um, and linked to the experience of the local wheels platform of Barcelona, um, Mireya is actually the project manager and the coordinator. So she will be able to uh, walk us through in the, the process exactly. Um, and, ex and also the certified protocol, the, um, a question that you can help us understand more the importance of traceability. Mm -hmm. Mireya? Hello. Uh, can you see my presentation? No. Well, wait a minute. Yes. No. Yes? No. Okay. Yes. I think David needs to. I, to yes. It's, it's, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yes. Still not. I think. He, now it's working. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Perfect. No, it's not. No, working. it's not. <laughs> Sorry for the little uh, live uh, challenges. Yeah, I think you you have to close the audio of your computer, David. Let me see if you could mute. No. Yes. Can you try, Maria, to speak? Hello. No. Not yet. Sorry. Not I'm yet. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So in the meantime, I still invite uh, you to write your questions in the Q and A section. Um, we'll we'll have a ten minute presentation by Miriam. Sorry, you're the last person, so we need you to be very short. Um, and we'll address some of the more overarching questions um, um, regarding targets and also the planner process question as well. So Miriam, can you try now? Yes. Now. David. Now. Now? Yes, perfect. Can yes. Yes, okay. Well, so hello everybody. Uh, thank you for joining this webinar. Uh, my presentation is about how to test inventory and distribute second-hand electronic devices through a certified protocol, how to trace them to be sure they will be recycled at the end of their useful life. Uh, Donalo is a small sample of the global ecosystem of reuse. Um, what I will try is to transfer you our experience using software and reuse tools. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to explain you uh, what is Donalo. Donalo, it's, it's a digital platform and a meeting point where companies donate all kind of material, especially device, uh, digital devices, to social entities. Sorry. Uh, since 2016, we have recirculated more than 8,000 kilograms through more than 25,000 products donated by 79 companies to uh, 200, uh, more than 200 NGOs. Uh, it's important in 2017, we were finalists of the European Week for, for Wage Reduction Awards in business category for the PC collection campaign for reuse in NGO. Well, uh, before knowing the, the reuse initiative, we had to distribute non-suitable computers and we didn't have answer for the donor. So we didn't know anything about the computers, no? 
but we meet the initiative and we got very excited because after a year of collaboration with Reuse, now we are able to, to distribute, certify and, and guaranteed electronic device, that it's very important. We can audit the circular economy, assuring the donor the final recycling and the social and environment impact. And we can intercooperate with other entities to be able to scale and specialize. So we now in Irreuse, we have several roles. Um, the first roles we have is um, capture uh, devices from individuals and companies. We do it by via SEO and via inbound marketing with our blog. Web in a block in the web. Um, if the donations are very large, we can give them to other actors in the circuit, like Allen Cop, Solidan. So here you can see it. Uh, and we have a system to compensate each other and a governance model to set the limits. Uh, we are as well refurbishers, sorry, but we have a small repair garage. To do this activity, we reach agreements with other entities, which we compensate in different ways. Okay. Finally, we are, yeah, we, we are a reseller, not only of our refurbished computers, also those from the circuit, which we also apply a compensation system. So we have these roles, no? Now I'm going to talk about our role as a computer collector. When a donor donates the devices to us, we separate what, what is not valid to be reused and send it to a waste manager entity of the circuit. Now we are sending to recycle devices with uh, processes smaller than I3, since it's difficult to recirculate them. Re reusable pieces are tested and inventoried, and the result is, is an IMAX like you can see on this screen. On each, on each of the devices, we document the events that are done. Who has refurbished it? Who has resellered it? What entity has received it? And finally, what price this enti entity paid for, the, for its device? All this history can be shared with the donor through a link. So it means that we send to the donor this link and this donor can see everything uh, who has made with, with every single device donate. Our role as a refurbisher, PC that are valid to, to be reused, are sent to our repair garage. In this slide, you can see the, the garage of Donalo, Solidans and Allen Cop. They are three entities of the reuse platform in Barcelona. Uh, we use the first software tool called workbench to testing the devices and its components and to estimate its use of value. Depending on this use of value, there is a transparent algorithm that estimates a selling price. In any case, it's a protected price and it's oriented to the cost that it has, ha, has been the cost to recirculate the device. I mean the transport, the storage, management and the cost of the worker. We inventory uh, at component level its device, as we saw in the last slide, and we use for that a second software tool called Device Hub. Okay, so finally, when, when we have tested the computers and, and we have inventoried it, finally we put a smart tag on every PC that can't be copied or manipulated. Uh, after, if you can, if you scan this label with our app, anyone can know all the steps that have that have been taken on this computer. It's very useful to to be able to share the inventories with other members of the circuit. So, for example, if I give another entity fifteen laptops because it needs them, the sum of the value of use of these laptops marks what that entity has to compensate me. So for example, if I give the other entity 
60 usage value, this entity can compensate me with another 60 usage value that can be, for example, 30 PCs. So this is a, an example of the compensation system that we have uh, between the, the entities of the circuit. And this is the, is the advantage of all of us following the same consensual protocol. Okay. And finally, our role as a reseller or distribution, uh, what we do is we publish the, the refurbished computers on our website. When the NGO asks for it, we explain to the NGO that PC have a symbolic cost that allows us to be sustainable. Some NGOs in Catalonia are not used to paying a cost for receiving donations. So we have to convince them with arguments like, hey, that you are helping us to create green jobs. You are helping to change the model, no? Um, yes, we also tell them that our PCs are warranted and we give them the possibility of hiring a maintenance service at social cost. Also, we have the possibility of offering them a renting service and it's a, very common, uh, very common offer. No? Uh, another thing we explain to NGOs is that they, they can use the PCs for as long as they, uh, as they want, but when they want to get rid of him, they have to let us know. Okay? Uh, if we see that the computer can, can never be recirculated again, we ask them to take it to an authorized uh, recycling pond. But if if it can be recirculated again, the PC returns to the circuit. Um, this is also a challenge because it means that we must maintain contact with the NGOs so that it remembers us two or three years later. No? Uh, well, in this, in this slide, you can see some NGOs that have received our pieces, okay? But our, in fact, sorry our final impact of in one year. You can see it. Yes. Okay. Yes, we can see it, yeah. Yes, okay. Um, in one year, we, we could recirculate 336 pieces to 32 NGOs thanks to, to uh, 33 donors. This has been an income of eight, uh, more or less eight, more than 18,000 euros. We know that, that it's not, not much, it's not a lot, but we believe that the model is useful. And if we manage to scale it, we will be able to give work to more people and to bet on another model. And um, that's all. I will. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mireya. Um, I think you can stop the sharing your screen. Um, yeah, thank you for, for explaining a bit more the practical aspect of it. And, uh, and you raised a point that it was also a question from uh, Fernanda Medina who was saying, so how do we deal with this plan obsolescence? How do we deal with the fact that a number of devices, uh, actually this, it does not allow to have upgrading or there's no other option than recycling. So you mentioned that you will send them to an authorized uh, um, recycling uh, center, but do you engage on on this question, so what, what, how do you deal with panel solutions? Do you have any action on it, even okay. if it's raising awareness? Yes, I think it's David who has to answer this question because he's, uh, he's investigating about this question of solutions and he's going to answer. Okay, so you have to, to, to mute. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, uh, do, your audio doesn't work, David. We don't hear you. Can you hear me right now? Yes, we yeah. can. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, the yeah plan obsolescence. Um, what what we what we are doing? Uh, having the information on. Uh, which models and manufacturers uh, to plan obsolescence? It's um, it's basic for um, uh, for the performance of the platform uh, because if you invest time um, uh, doing the upgrade and the publishment of uh, 
of a device that it's going to to die uh, in a in a few months, um, then um, that increased cost on on warranties, etc. So um, what what we do is uh, we we track uh, the the total usage time of the devices from uh, uh, with the donor and once it goes to an, a new reuse loop and several reuse loops. Um, this, this information as what um, Esther said no? uh, regarding the routers cannot be uh, reused. Um, even in Barcelona that we have the biggest uh, community network in the world that we have Givinet, <laughs> um, they cannot um, put um, a reflash the, the routers with open source um, and, and, and that, that makes us just to send it to the recycling uh, stream. No? And this information about uh, if something is obsolete or not, you only can gain <laughs> if you follow the device. Because if um, after four years you just <coughs> send it to recycling, um, the, the supplier, the donor, uh, really don't know uh, the impact of the purchase, purchase done a few years ago because um, uh, finally just goes to uh, get a paper saying it has been recycled. Um, so I think it's uh, the, um, having this information, this information is, is shared by the, the irreduced members, worldwide irreduced members. Um, any of them decides what one to share because has their own platforms. Um, but this is creating um, an open data uh, system um, and we are knowing um, uh, where we should invest time or not, which models can run open source or not. So, so that it's, it's, a bit of, it's a bit of knowledge. And if you, want, if you go to your reuse website, there is, um, um, in, there is a, a, a steel sheet, uh, a document, with some examples of uh, of uh, data we we are making publicly available. No? So yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you, David. Uh, we'll try to take two more questions. So I invite you to have a shorter um, replies. Um, there's, I think, a question that connects to Esther's presentation about: um, Do you have a reuse target for the next years? Um, so because you're developing the project at the City Council of Barcelona, so do you have a target? Mm -hmm. um, and and also maybe a question that is broader to the three of you: What type of electronics are easily reused at present? Given this question of plant obsolescence that we mentioned, so maybe mm -hmm. first the uh, target. Uh, re regarding target, um, now it's um, it's a platform. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, there is a, a platform in in Madrid that it starts with uh, three entities. Um, uh, they um, are um, replicating the, the process uh, we did in Barcelona. So uh, uh, one target is um, give them support uh, uh, just because as much we are uh, easy to, to sustain and scale. You know? um, and that's uh, more learnings we are getting and, and more uh, can be understand the problem because the problem problem is really big so uh, you need to be um, many um, entities uh, supporting you know, uh, to to make uh, uh, electronics more circular and one one target could be help to replicate this uh, project uh, in a platform concept uh, but um, today the EU software it's more in, in in more than 10 countries so um, that it's um, US, uh, UK, uh, England, um, uh, Switzerland, um, starting in, in France, in India, in Argentina. So um, these are businesses that uh, use the software, improve, and all this knowledge um, can improve, uh, revert with others. That it's, the, I think, uh, the, the next target also improve the resources. One is the conceptual platform and, and learnings, and the other are the resources. And regarding 
uh, which devices are easily to to uh, reuse. Um, yeah, yes, please. I will talk yes. about more. Uh, yes. After one year of operation, we have found that that one hundred percent of pieces with processors above uh, i3, as well as laptops, are recirculated at one hundred percent. So it's impressive because we publish it, and the next day we have uh, four or five requests for the same product. On the other hand, with PCs with processors smaller than i3, it's very difficult. The market demands them very little. Uh, the problem is accumulating a lot of low performance computer because it means to lose money because storage costs are high. Uh, and also means not being able to accept uh, more equipment because the, the carats is full. Uh, and this is a very useful learning. Uh, so now when a company wants to donate PCs with processors smaller than i3, we refer them directly to a recycling entity. Uh, as well, we, we, we try to recirculate network material and we try it to, to make with Wifinet. Um, they, uh, Wifinet studied the material, but so that it could not be reused because, for example, the routers went with the manufacturer's software and they always work with open source. So, it was like very difficult to, to reuse this material, no? So it's like a learning by doing. The first year we, we, we have our garage plenty of, of, of IA2 computers, no? And it was difficult to, to be able to pay the garage and everything. So it's an important learning. Yeah. And see. Yeah, thank you, Miriam. I, I wanted to quickly, because we have literally three minutes left, but uh, uh, Ismail was asking, so you mentioned in presentation that the devices are refurbished maximum two times, uh, and the second time it is used by the same user, or is it change, or does it change again? No, an entity can use the, the device for whatever, whatever he wants, no? but um, but when the entity no longer wants this device, it notifies us. And if we believe it can be recirculated again, we offer this device to another entity. So I okay, it can be to different users. So thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm just going back to the question on the reuse targets for Esther and David. Um, the question was about the reuse targets for the City Council of Barcelona. Is there a reuse um, policy that makes that you want to reuse at the 50 percent 60 percent like a target for the city council uh, the i think that the system that we, we have uh, organized with the reuse it depends more that the the possibility the platform to to reuse the computers because there are the, the, the city council has a, a political that, that it makes a lot of computers in the system, no, the PCs. So uh, it depends uh, of the possibilities to to make it um, uh, to go uh, to the in, in the in the system, no. Um, now, uh, uh, all the computers that the platform is uh, able to, to make it, uh, to reuse, it, it's okay. So, no, no limit. It's, it's an organization question more than uh, another thing. Just, just to add, um, uh, re recently we are integrating the platform with um, social services. Um, so um, uh, just just to know if a, if a user wants a computer, um, he can validate that uh, he's receiving um, uh, a social um, uh, aid, fund, no? aid mm -hmm. no? and and that is one aspect, and and the other is integrate 
uh, with the collection points, with the city council um, collection points. Uh, uh, that way, um, the user when when wants to get rid of the device, if um, it is allowed to do, because Mireya explained you know, that is the device still has a value, has to be returned, um, then go to a collection point, and th this can be done with the app. So um, this information, this integration of the, the local platform with the uh, <laughs> local technology services, it's also a target that uh, specifically uh, can be done by uh, local entities that speak with the local authorities. No, and that's that is um, also a reason to, to be uh, distributed and, and open source. No? Yeah, thank you very much. And I, and I think there's a question that connects to the sustainability of the of the project, but we, we're really out of time. We need to close here. Um, and I believe something that you've mentioned in the example of the City Council of Barcelona shows that um, you needed money to, to get the platform started, to set the tool in a way. But today the system is self-sustained because it's based on, on social enterprises uh, like the one of Donalo where Mireia is working. Um, so I would invite all the participants who have more practical questions to reach out to e-reuse um, because it's one of these projects that could be replicated in in other places. Um, so really, thank you very much. It's a, it's, it's a tough topic and, and we were not sure about picking this as the first topic for 2019. So thank you very much for your presentations. Thank you very much for the, the questions uh, to the participants. And I'm sorry, we didn't have the time to cover all of them. Um, again, we will be sending the presentations and this recording to everyone. I just want to invite you to our next webinar. We run monthly webinars of the Race Europe. The next one will be the 4th of March uh, on plastic waste prevention in action. Um, and we are also willing to see you in person in Kiel. Uh, we have a Zero Waste Cities conference in the north of Germany, in the city of Kiel. Uh, it's going to be end of March. Um, and maybe the best way to be informed about all this information is to sign up to our Zero Waste Cities newsletter. Um, and and again, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for this great input. And uh, thanks to all the participants. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>